Hello everybody, uh, Shaziz here. With, for this little experiment, we're going to need one little Slayer Exciter. This is a uh, version that I got from Ryan Abrams over at Abrams Lab. And it's been kind of roughed up, but it's still there. I'm also going to be using a nifty little circuit that has, it's kind of broke up there. Two germanium diodes, one coil of wire, one capacitor, and one LED. And on the opposite side, I have one fluorescent bulb and one capacitor. Doesn't really matter what size capacitor. Just a nifty little deal here. Okay, we got one voltmeter set on the volt range. Do 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 do. And we've got one nine volt battery at eight point four four volts. So what we're going to do first is connect our positive our negative and for the first portion of it I am not going to connect that to the load so what we will do then see how much juice it says we got 0.91 in there already let me see if I can figure out a way to short that out. Ta-da! Alright, now we'll get a little bit of rebound from the cap, I'm sure. Alright, it's at point one. So, we're going to take and take our uh, 8.44 volt battery. And we're going to connect it to the Slayer Exciter, and we're going to center up our uh, our fluorescent bulb with the coil. And we're going to dim this light right here. And we're going to watch the voltage. Inside that battery, we know that we have 8.44 volts, I think it was. So we're going to sit here and wait and watch. And observe. So right now what you are seeing is the Slayer Exciter energizing the gas in the fluorescent bulb and charging the capacitor which in turn is being read by the meter. On the opposite side, you see the little blinking LED with the capacitor, the two geranium diodes, and the coil, which are actually picking the energy up off of the waste energy at that battery as that Slayer Exciter is making its full loop. You can see that we're at 8.69, which is more than was in the battery. And we're just going to sit here and watch. So right now, we are lighting up a fluorescent bulb and charging a capacitor, which is our load, and we are using the extra energy off of the uh, waste energy off of the uh, battery, because there is a field there being created. It is charging up that circuit and allowing that blinking LED. You can see that we're at 9.74 volts and rising. In that battery we had uh, not quite 9 volts. 8.44 if I remember right. Do 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 do. <clears throat> so we're up to 2.5 
10 volts now. Charging while under a load using a fluorescent bulb. Now let's see if we move this. If we can get any more out of that. Up or down just a hair. I see. And 13. We're at 5 minutes and 53, I think it is, since the video started. Actually, once I edit it, it probably be later than that. But Either way, we started off with a 9 volt battery that only had about 8.40 something volts in it. And we are charging using a fluorescent bulb and a capacitor. While at the same time energizing with the waste energy off of this circuit and that battery you can see that if I move this farther away how dimmer it gets and if I move it back into the field how brighter it gets do 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 Let's see, move it a little bit closer and see if that helps. Actually appears to have hindered a hair. Let's move it back out just a bit. Hmm. It's a sweet spot everywhere. Just like in the light itself, you can notice the difference. By moving that over just a little bit, it drops down. Da, 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 da. Looky there, I got her all out of whack now. There's that tuning thing we were talking about. Question is, how do you charge something higher than the initial voltage that you have in that battery. I think it's a worthy anomaly to check into. The fact that you can use a uh, fluorescent bulb being energized like a pickup coil. Do 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 do. All right, let's turn the light bag on for a second, and let's take our put this under a load, which will drop that thing down to probably about two volts, I think. Okay. Now let's get that back to where it belongs centered. Now it has a direct load on it, which is that circuit that is not only picking up wireless energy from the battery itself, 
Move that out of the way there. Notice that time it didn't dim down. That's because it's actually draining off of that other capacitor. Now, let me see. Looks like our voltage is going the wrong way. Uh, 77, 76. Do, 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 do. Bring that back in towards the do 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 do. All right, well, you can see now that since the uh, little circuit down there and the, and it's on the actual load is actually picking up some energy off of that battery even though it's underneath the load it's starting to go back up and this is the point at which it takes a long time to get all the way back up to where it was before without the load So with that said, since that's going to take quite some time to actually get back up there, just want you to uh, take and try this yourself. Here. Turn the light back on, uh, 95. Put my finger on the battery, 96. Look at that. Boing. <laughs> so when you get this just at the right spot, the strongest spot, uh, tuned. And it will continue to rise, but since we're 12 minutes and 59 seconds, going on 13 minutes now and rising, I'll go ahead and cut this video short. And one last time point out to you. Let's see what our battery voltage is again. Taking our load off. All right, now it's down to seven, seven point nine, seven point five, seven point nine six. We ran it down that much. One more quick run, I guess. Seven point nine six was on the battery. So now let's see. Do 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 do. See if really quick we can get it over 7.96. It's going up there to 15 minutes. No matter how hard I try, I just can't seem to make a short video anymore. It's too much to say, too much to show. But we are charging with a um, fluorescent bulb using the Slayer Exciter. Starting off with a smaller voltage and working our way up.
remember the battery voltages. We're at 15 minutes now. So. Yeah, I do believe we're already over our initial battery voltage and rising. Alright, looks like it's going to turn out to be about a 16 minute, maybe even a 17 minute video plus tax with the other. <laughs> I'm just saying, I know I'm going to get thumbed down for saying it. You can never get out more energy than you put in. So, with that said, peace and love, everybody. Stay tuned. I want to see if we can hit 9 volts before I quit. It's going to be a long video. center that speed it up a hair yay something as simple as tuning there you go we started off with a less than charged battery and was able to keep charging higher and higher and we're up to 17 minutes so I'll have to Take her out of here with that. Doggone it, the numbers keep going up. I don't want to quit. <laughs> Alright, there you go. That's good enough. 10.03, still rising. Peace and love, everybody. Stay tuned.